Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research, adults only, entertainment purposes, allegedly. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, you guys. I hope you guys are doing great. I've been getting some um, requests, so I wanted to hit some of those up. The first one here, I did a little test. Thought I'd start with this, and then I will start pulling some more, but initially this is what I got. So I'll share what I initially got. And the question was about Lily, Lily um, why we're not seeing photos. Um, I do know that with adoptions, uh, there's, a, there's a lock, a block for the adoptive parent to be able to show the picture of the children. So that is one angle that is discussed, and that is the law. And that is a very good reason also why we did not see Archie. Um, that's why he was held back. Archie, my opinion, also Bookworm's opinion, and several other readers' opinion that Archie was pulled, was a early C-section, had issues. Uh, they did that to meet the timeline. That is also why we didn't see him, was also because with a surrogacy, you have to adopt. Uh, with this child, Lily, uh, another adoption, but it's not with the surrogacy. I feel strongly that the surrogate lost the children. So they had to rush in and find someone to adopt a child, a woman about the age of around 20, an American citizen. They wanted a blonde child. They got a blonde, but not as blonde as what um, they wanted. They were hoping for a Diana lookalike. Um, and uh, she has had some reservations, but I do personally feel that they do have her, but it's because the adoption laws that they're not able to show her. So the reason why we're not seeing photos is because of that, but also what I have here is the cards. It's a lifestyle change. You can see it here. This is one of my original teaching decks for myself. Yep, writing on there. This is what I recommend if you want to learn how to do this. It's the easiest way. If you have the vibrations and you don't understand the cards, don't make it hard on yourself, just write on them. I did it and that's how I got started. So, But I still like this deck and I don't mind showing you because I'm not ashamed of it. <laughs> I don't have that big of an ego. At least I try not to. Sometimes I do, but anyways, I have no shame in my game. Here we go. So lifestyle change. Created a lifestyle change and it was a lesser degree disaster situation because they lost the surrogacy. They had to, you know, figure something else out, right? So they did. They had to create a new idea, and that's what they did. But they're also being selfish. They don't want to show her because there is that selfish. They are selfish. They're also traitors. And uh, so they realize they're not really liked too much. They're also very tired and burned out at this point. Uh, there's problems with authority and ego, as we know. There's this big infighting going on. Uh, there is the fighting with the, with the, the, the firm. So they want back in. We know they want back in. Megan is very regretful at this point in time. She's desperately trying to get back in. That's the other reason why she's being so silent right now. Uh, they, she does not want to fight with the authority right now. She's kind of gone silent because of that. And then in the center of the situation, uh, she does want reunions. She wants back. She wants back. And then we have here the teamwork travel, the three, the three of wands here. She sent Harry. Harry's been going there. He's going to probably try and go back again in September, uh, even though he left in a huff. Uh, that would be something I would have to read on. Uh, so she is trying to really get this celebration here, travel back into the family. Uh, she wants back. Uh, they know they can't do it from legal standpoint. Uh, so that is always in the cards, but I'm going to pull and shuffle some more. Here we go. Let's get some more. Yes, and, you know, I will say, I said it on Twitter. It might sound a little insensitive to some people, but, you know, I, I go through the royal feeds on different various uh, channels, and um, one of my favorite comments about the brothers at the statue unveiling and the obvious awkwardness that went on there with the body language, uh, one of my favorite comments by a commenter was, even, um, even Stevie Wonder could see that there, um, that there was a problem here. So I thought that was quite funny, but yeah, it was that obvious. So anyone who doesn't watch that clip and wants to believe the fluff news is not being too sharp. It was really, really obvious, you guys. So they're not, they're not bridged. They're not bridged. The gap is not bridged at all. It's going to take many more years as even the astrology 
person, what's her name, Marjorie Orr, came out saying with, uh, she's starforecast.com, the whole, um, and she has a good accuracy record, uh, states the same. So it's just not going to happen. She can say all she wants. She's not wanted in. I feel they have done a full block on her. I don't see it happening. But let's find out. Um, let's find out um, what's going to happen there. She really wants in. She really wants in. What's going to happen there? She really wants in in September. What will September look like? Let's get the September. How about that? That sounds like fun. September. Yeah, September is a good idea. I love September. It's one of my favorite months. Here we go. September. September. September is going to have less burdens for them. I'm going to keep shuffling. What else is September going to show for them? September is going to also have the Eight of Wands in reverse. I'm going to just pull these out. Ooh, we got the tower. And we've got the gas lighting underneath the tower. Oh, yeah, they showed up lying all right. <laughs> Lots of lying, trying to act like they're not burdened. Yeah, we don't have burdens. We're doing great, but we want back. Yeah, we're doing great. And I also have here, boop, this one goes there, teamwork expansion. And we have here the guarded, yes, under the surface, family legacy in reverse. Not going to happen, you guys. No, not going to happen. They're out. Either you're in or you're out. And the Queen of, Queen of uh, Pentacles in reverse, she is still going to be broke. That is Megan. <laughs> Megan is out of the fan. Okay, so the whole bottom of the spread here is what I just said. Here it is right here, you guys. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. That is the Megan card with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They don't want her. There's been a full block. She's not going to be going to uh, the UK in September, nor is she allowed. She's just simply not allowed. Uh, all that fluff news is, is uh, the Markle campaign. So in the past position, they created a tower crashing moment. Uh, they, he went in there, you know, when he went to the UK, oh, we're not burdened, you know, so he gaslighted them when he was there. And with the eight in reverse, uh, it's an action to overcome. He's not going to overcome it. He cannot overcome even lying to them and saying that he's burdened. He won't admit that he's burdened because of his ego. Uh, lots of cloudy, dark days for them. They literally feel like they're falling out of a fiery building uh, in Montecito, <laughs> losing their crowns. And lightning is coming for them, really, literally. Um, and uh, they're trying to appear as though they are super abundant here. We've got it all. We are abundant, uh, but they're being very guarded with their words now with the Ace of Swords in reverse. So they're, tr they're trying to act abundant, but they're being very guarded. They're still lying about their well-being. Uh, and they're very guarded about their teamwork and the expansion that they're attempting to do because they are trying to get back in. They want back in desperately, but it's not going to happen. They don't want her. Harry has to come back as a divorced male. It's never going to happen while he's still married to her. Uh, and that's how I see it. It's just not going to happen. Uh, so there's that. Uh, let's get... And a question, um, what was it? Um, someone asked about her grilling commercial where she did the burgers and uh, she objectified herself, a very sexy commercial. Uh, they wanted to know, did she enjoy doing it? Because uh, she comes out saying that she felt like she was objectified in a sex object and felt awkward about it. So they wanted to know, did she actually enjoy doing that sexy shoot? She also did a lot of sexy shoots on suits. She was the only one who did the nudity shoots. No other one on the show did it. She also agreed to a more racier version in the grilling shot, you know, commercial. She agreed to a more racy version, which they released two years later. So it's like she doesn't really mind it, but then yet she gaslights us and tells us that she hates it and she feels objectified and that she's a feminist. But let's find out what the cards have to say. Here we go. Did she feel objectified? Did she ever feel objectified? I'm going to put that back because that just kind of came out in the middle. Did she ever feel objectified? Did Markle ever feel objectified in her sh suits, commercials, grilling commercials? Did she ever feel objectified? Did she ever feel objectified? So what do we have here? For starters, I got four that fell out and I'm just using those four for starters. 
So we have here the creation in reverse. She didn't really want to create it. So yeah, she did not really like creating the situation. Didn't really want to do it. But she did it because she felt success was close. You know, I'm trying to be a Hollywood star. I'm almost there. I just got one more push to go. So that's what that is. Seven of Wands in, in the upright and the Empress. I'm trying to create and 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 blossom the birth of something new. I want something new to happen to me, so I want this birth of something new, which is to be a star. And we've got here, the gaslighting comes to an end. So she was not gaslighting when she said she felt objectified. Uh, no, she really did not want to do it. So she really, she really was not lying. So that's kind of surprising. So I think that's in her own mind. Uh, she's an unaware narcissist. Um, I, I don't think she truly, I think consciously this is what she's thinking, but unconsciously I think she probably kind of likes it. Let's find out. Unconsciously, oh, she's guarded. She's guarded with her words. She was guarded, but once again, it's not with her energy. It's only with her words. So it's kind of, there's a, there's a con, there's, it's not cohesive. There's a lack of cohesiveness. So she's only guarded with her words. Uh, not with her body, so that's interesting. She's not she's not guarded with her body yet. She will say it that she's guard, she will kind of give out that illusion, guarded words that she's awkward with it, uncomfortable with it. But as you can see, it's not a pentacle energy, which tells me she kind of likes being nude, but she's not going to admit it. She's not going to admit it. She's very guarded about it, and that's just what I'm feeling with this spread. And we have here, and we have here the six. Of cups in reverse so there's no harmony there's no emotional harmony so emotionally she's not there's no harmonious with her words there's no harmony with the emotions her words and what she does with her body I think she's she's fractured the way I the, what I'm getting uh, intuitively is she's fractured she's got this fractured core and um, she goes in different places. She goes to different places. I, she compartmentalizes her life. Um, okay, I have to do this job. I know it's not exactly what I want to do. So she compartmentalizes in order to become fruitful and create something for herself because she always felt she was close to, to being a global star. So she compartmentalized to get through it. I'm feeling like she's very fractured. That's just energetically, that's how I feel about it. Uh, let's get some under the roses on her being fractured. Fractured Megan. Fractured core. She has a very fractured sense of self. Here we go. Yeah, she whips herself. That's the flagellation. So she whips herself. Uh, and we have here, and she whips herself with uh, any, any um, unions, any dualities, uh, it's not necessarily just marriage, but this is a union. It's a, t it's you know, it's just a partnership kind of card. So any partnership, she does beat herself up. She does whip herself. So there's that whole um, flagellation, and we have here, yeah. And she, she knows she's not super careful about. She wasn't careful about the choices she made, her surroundings, um, took chances with the tower and not really liking the. That's like going along with authority also uh, establishment she likes to buck the establishment she doesn't mind bucking the establishment but yet she does kind of mentally beat herself up for doing it so once again that's sort of being fractured and compartmentalizing yourself in order to get through it she probably um, checks out too there's probably that um, whole depersonalization and that whole checking out um, that a lot of cluster bees do. They do have that uh, very gifted ability to mentally check out. Okay, so the next question. Hmm. Uh, will she reconnect with dad to keep from the court case to continue? Will she, will she connect with him just to keep him from doing any further damage in court? Will she reconnect with her dad if that's any way I don't know. I don't stay on top of every detail. I don't have that time of day. Maybe someone can inform me on that. But will she reconnect with him? No, she will not. No, she will not. Wow, that's very as clear as day. So <clears throat> this one's sticking out. I'll take it. Wow. Guarded. No, she's not going to talk to him. It's over. Done. She will never speak to him again. So there's your answer. Nope. 
And let's see, next question, where will she be in 10 years if she's even alive? Where will Markle be in 10 years? Where will Markle be in 10 years? Where will Markle be in 10 years? 10 years. I'm going to do some cutting here. Where will she be in 10 years? 10 years. Where will she be in 10 years? I've done this before, but why not? It's always nice to check the energy, see what's going on, you know. Yes, 10 years. Markle in 10 years. Will she be happy? Will she be sad? What will be going on? Well, she will be working. She will figure, figure out she has got to work. She's got to make some money. She's got to gain some more experience making money, too, because that's gaining experience. Feeling like quite possibly it might be worth doing it. So she is going to still be trying to hustle. And yes, wow, she's going to really be hustling still. Wow, trying to really create her, her own personal legacy, despite being blocked out of the family. And we have here King of Wands in reverse. I would say that would be Harry out of the family, out, not with her anymore, because she always tried making him the King of Wands, and he's not going to be, he's not going to be the one bringing this in. Let's put it that way. It certainly won't be Harry. And we have here the fork in the road card in front of the world. She's going to realize she just needs to take a different fork in the road in front of the world because the whole world's watching her. So I'll just take a different fork in the road. You know, fine, fine. I'll go make my money. So nothing's going to stop her. She's tungsten. But she's going to also have a two of swords in reverse. She realized people are not going to want to partner up with her and nor are they going to want to hear her speeches. So that's kind of out the door. She's not going to be able to make money with speeches. <laughs> Nobody wants to pay her for that. She will not be a public speaker, and she's not going to feel that it's a major loss. And she's going to be aware of why with the moon energy. She knows exactly why. And she is not going to be nostalgic whatsoever. She's going to try and block it out, um, her nostalgia and what she lost. And emotionally, she's going to try and check out and that there is no harmony uh, with the family. She's going to try and say to people, well, it's no loss. I went down, you know, I got options here. I am aware of all the problems and struggles. And she's just going to say, hey, I'm out. I'm making my own life. She's really going to forge her own path, it's looking like, uh, as a single woman. And we have here, she's going to try and balance her emotions, turn water into wine, a bad situation, and make it good. But she's going to be very unhappy. She will be very unhappy. And she will always try and be that ace of wands uh, woman, that ace of wands, the queen of wands. She's always going to try to be the one energy of trying to create something new. Along with, uh, even when she's faced with nothing going her way, she's still going to always push through it. Uh, she's got quite the fire in this. This woman's got quite the fire in her. Uh, and with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, uh, she's going to have a lot of bad luck. And she's always going to be trying to break the cycle of her bad luck. Uh, we've got here. She is going to be having an epiphany at some point in time where she's going to realize that nobody is um, going to want to create anything with her, even though she's trying to get people to team up with her. That's the epiphany. No one wants me. No one wants to team up with me. See, she's really screwing herself over here with all the lawsuits. No one's going to want to sign any contracts with her if she's going around suing everybody. So we have here, she realizes she's not liked by others and that she is just going to try and be that queen of pentacles and that she's not going to uh, admit any broken heart, that she didn't break anyone's heart. It's not my fault. I didn't do it. Uh, it was everyone else that broke my heart. Uh, she's not going to be feeling it because she does not feel it. She has an inability to feel it being a narcissist absolutely no empathy or remorse or love in her heart not capable it's not in her brain it's not in her brain structure nor is it in the prefrontal cortex or anywhere else in her brain so that's why we're seeing the three of swords in reverse it's just incapable incapacity total focus on money so that's her main focus she's not going to change she will remain the same person as we see today and then we have here the the king of swords in reverse yeah she will not be listening to any male energy telling her what to do. She is going to be a person of her own. She will have absolutely no rest and recovery. She will never recover. She will never recover from all of this. 
there is no recovery with her mental pathology and she's going to always try and be that nine of pentacles woman who is you know self-sufficient uh, you know abundant and and happy and fulfilled with her money so the whole bottom line with her has always 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 been these two cards you guys it's not going to change it'll never change and she will start to shut down any male who tries to tell her what to do uh, she'll just shut them out she's just going to try and focus on being wealthy she's really just chasing the dollar so she's quite the hustler the hustling is going to continue not going to change no not even within the next 10 year period she's still going to be pulling the same gig but uh, probably not as public so i hope you enjoyed this until next time like and subscribe bye